Now you finished a great mix and the following week you open a new mix session and start rebuilding your full vocal chain, drum bus, effects setup, uh, basically everything you liked from that last mix. But do you know that Cubase offers four insanely useful ways to save and reuse all of it. So you never have to rebuild your favorite plugin chain, channel settings, effects, presets, and a full mix session from scratch. And this is exactly what I'm gonna show you in today's video. It's easy, it's fast, so let's do it. Now the first one I'm gonna show you is actually one of my favorite Cubase feature that I use all the time, especially when starting to mix a song. And this one is called Import Tracks from Project. This is such a useful tool. It's gonna to allow you to pick and choose tracks from a session and import them into your current session, which is so useful, okay? One situation where this feature is gonna be very useful for me anyways, is when I work with my mix template. So I have a uh, recording session that a client sent me. So I'm gonna use the import tracks from project to get what I need out of my mix template session and import that into this new mix session and the mix session right now is quite empty okay there's nothing there's no plugins no routing um, no group channels no effects channels i'm all gonna get those from my mix templates now just so you know this feature is available on the pro version of cubase okay uh, so i'm gonna go up to uh, file go down to import and select tracks from project from this point i'm gonna select a cubase session in my case this will be my mix template template session. From this point, I'm gonna see all the tracks I have inside this mix template, which I'm gonna call source session. So those are all the source tracks. On this side of that window, I have the destination track, uh, which are all the tracks I have inside my current session, which I'm gonna call the destination session. Uh, so I can just pick and choose from this point all the tracks I want to import into my destination session. Uh, so the destination track right now is listed as new tracks. So that means that all the selected tracks I have on the source uh, session are gonna be imported as new tracks inside the destination session. But I can manually change that around if I want to, uh, to import the data of a track from the, uh, the source project into the destination project. So in my case, I have a lead vocal. So I'm just gonna go and um, select the other lead vocal track I have inside my current session. And that means that uh, Cubase, instead of importing the lead vocal channel as a new track inside the destination session. It's only gonna import the data and transfer that data over to the track I have selected. So for this one, I'm just gonna import the, uh, the lead vocal and the instrument channels, okay? Just to show you how that looks like. Now on the right side, there's some stuff I can check on or off, and I'm just gonna make sure that the channel and inspector settings is checked on and that's it. You know, I don't need anything else. Events and parts, this, uh, you activate this in a situation where you want to import the actual recording from the source track over to the destination track, which is not what I'm doing since I'm uh, grabbing some tracks out of my mix template session. Now I'm just gonna click on okay. So I have my lead vocal channel from the source track that uh, has replaced uh, the one inside my destination track with all of my plugins, my routing, all that good stuff. So if I solo this channel, you see that my mix vocal instrument channel is also soloed and same for my stereo output. So all the routing and everything is the same as in my mix template, which is awesome. So as you can see, it's super useful, fast, and easy to work with. And this feature is also very useful when updating my mix template. Now, before we move on to the second way, I have a free gift for you. If you wanna add depth, space, and character to your vocal mixes, download my free uh, vocal delay guide that you can use right away to bring your vocal to life in any mix. The link is down below. Now, the second way we're gonna look at is the track archives. Now this one is very close to import tracks from project, but it goes the other way around where you're inside your source project and you want to save or archive a bunch of tracks together that you can use inside any other Cubase session, okay? Uh, so for example, I'm inside my mix template session 
and uh, let's say I want to just save or archive my drum mix. So I'm gonna select all of my drum channels, including the folder, uh, the, uh, the effects channels, all that stuff, and even the instrument mix drum channel I have. So once everything is selected, I'm gonna go up to file, go down to export, and click on selected tracks. And now this feature is also a Cubase Pro feature, okay? Now from the export selected tracks window, I have two choices, reference media files, which is what I'm gonna use, or copy media files. So this is in the case where I want to copy the audio I have recorded or the media I have recorded on the channels I want to archive basically. Uh, in that case, I would click copy media files, which I'm not gonna do for this one. Only reference the media files only. Uh, then the compatibility, I'm gonna select uh, Cubase 13, New Window 13 or newer. But if you want, you can select uh, earlier versions of Cubase, okay, for better compatibility if you want to. I'm gonna click on okay and let's go and name this one. Uh, I'm just gonna copy over the uh, my uh, Chris Drum template I have right Right here and this is going to create a nextml file only okay no projects whatsoever only a simple file and that's it so from my finder window on my mac i have my chris drum template xml file and it's only six megabytes. It's very, very small, very light, okay? So I can archive this and open this in any session I want. And you know what, let's try it out. Now I just closed my mix template session and now I'm back into the song I'm starting to mix. Uh, from this point, I can go back on top to file, import, and this time around, I'm gonna click on track archive and I'm gonna go and select find my XML file. In this case, Chris Drum template, I'm gonna click on open. And now I'm gonna get the same window as I did when importing tracks from project, okay? But this time it's looking at the XML file I have selected. And the only thing it's gonna show are all the tracks included into this XML file. And now I can select all those tracks or just a few of them and do the same as I did while importing tracks from project and import those tracks into my destination session. There you go, everything is there and everything is fully routed as it was in my mix templates. Now the cool thing with this approach is that you can uh, select a bunch of tracks together, save them, archive them, and get access to them anytime you want without having to rely on saving a specific session. For example, you could, you know, just archive together all your virtual instruments you like to work with. So you can always have access to them anytime you work on your new production, you know? So this is the type of thing you can do. It's very close again to the import tracks from project, but just a different approach. This video is sponsored by Jay-Z Microphones. So if you're looking for high quality microphones like the V67, uh, which is one of my favorite vocal mic, you have to check them out. And by using my code that makes down 10, you'll get 10% off all microphones listed. The link is down below, okay. Now let's get back to the video. Now the next way we're gonna look at, and this one is not unique to Cubase Pro, is to save and load channel settings. And this can be very useful. Now on this mix I have a big room effects channel, uh, which is gonna emulate a drum room basically. Uh, and it's composed of three different plugins. Also a high pass, low pass filter from the channel itself. And uh, let me see if there's anything else. I think that's it. So what I can do here is to save that as its own preset, okay? A track preset, basically. So I'm gonna go on top here and I'm gonna see load track preset and I'm gonna click on preset management and this is where I'll be able to save track uh, preset or load a preset. Or I can go at the bottom of a channel, right click and you will see right there, um, save track preset. Okay, same thing, so I'm gonna click on save and I'm gonna name my preset, I'm gonna call it big room. But what I like to do when I save a preset is to add double zero before my name and I'm gonna start with Chris, it's gonna be easier to find and then big room in this case click on save click on ok and that's it now my channel preset is created and saved uh, so let's say i want to load it on this channel just as an example i'm going to again right click at the bottom of a channel click on load track preset and there you go it's right here on top so double zero chris big room 
and double click on this preset. And that's it, it's all loaded. Now, if you only want to save the insert plugin chain, very possible in Cubase. And this is another way you can save a preset of a mix you're working on uh, by only saving the insert plugin chain. So I'm gonna go uh, straight on my mix bus channel. So let's say I want to save the plugin chain of that channel. I'm gonna right click on the insert tab that I have on that channel and click on save effects chain preset. Again, I'm gonna name it double zero Chris and drum bus effects uh, chain. Click on OK. And from any other channel, I can load that preset anytime I want. Again, right click and this time around, load effects chain preset. And there you go, it's right here on top. That simple so quick. And of course, inside the plugin itself, you can also save your own personalized presets uh, like this one. And I actually made a video on the quadrafaz on drums not too long ago. So I tweaked things around to my taste. And from this point, I can save this effect as its own preset. So I'm going to go on the top of the plugin, click on save preset. Once again, double zero, Chris, and let's go with... Uh, Fuzz drums, there you go, click on OK. So next time I load this plugin, I can simply go on top, click on load preset, and right there, it's on top. Select it and there you go, it's right there. Now I'm gonna show you how you can retrieve all of those files straight on your computer, okay? Because right now they are saved inside Cubase. But what if you wanna move those presets away or save them um, somewhere else as a backup on another drive so you can access them if you change computer? Very simple. Uh, if you open the media bay, okay? Uh, you will see on the under user content, you will see a bunch of folders. One is called VST3 presets. And those are gonna be all your plugin presets. And look, the one on top, and that's the reason why I always add double zero before I save a preset of my own. So it shows right on top, so easy to locate. Okay, so double zero Chris Fuzz Drums, this is my actual Quadrafaz preset. So if I want to locate this specific file on my computer, I'm just gonna right click and I'm on Mac, so I'm just gonna click on Reveal in Finder. So you will have an equivalent on the Windows side, uh, but this is what we get on Mac. And there you go, now I have the actual file of the preset itself, okay? And if I right click on top, I see the exact route. Same goes with my plugin chain presets. As you can see, this one is on top and I can do the same, reveal in Finder, and there you go. So I have all of my personalized effect chain presets located in the same folder, okay? And same goes for my channel presets, which is track preset right here. You can see them right here on top. And same here, you right click, reveal in Finder, and you know exactly where they are inside the computer. And from the media bay, you can rename the presets. You can also delete the presets if you want to, okay? If you like Cubase plugins, you have to watch this video and try these plugins out the next time you mix vocals. Hope you enjoyed this video. If so, hit the thumbs up button, and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel. That helps a lot. Until next time, take care and see you.